Tiger fans, welcome to episode 259 of the official Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club podcast, bringing you all the latest news, updates, and buzz surrounding your mighty JSU Tigers. I am the Corey C. Make sure you download and subscribe to the podcast to be notified of all future episodes. Apple Podcasts and Spotify video users, rate and review the show and everyone. Go follow Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club on Facebook and Tiger Talk 1400 on Instagram and Twitter. It all helps the cause, which is the I love, Jackson State University. And hosting today's show is Ken Clark. All right, welcome back to another episode of Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club. You know who it is. It's your main man, Ken Clark. Back in the booth again, we got another special guest. Hey, man. We got Phil Minotti Productions in the building. What's going on, bro? Man, another day. <laughs> always working, always working. Hey, man, how you been, man? We we had to get you on the show. You know, I know you uh doing it. You, you you're a busy man right now, man. You're a busy yeah. man putting out dope JSU uh, athletic content. You know, got a lot uh, going on. We wanted to get you on the show, man. Somebody thought it'd be a good idea, and you remember, I hit you up. I was like, you know what? That would be a good idea. You know, why yeah. not go to the man behind the camera? Because usually, <laughs> we always we always dissecting your, your you know your work that you do in front of the lens. But we wanted to kind of get to know the man behind the lens, man. So That's cool, introduce man. yourself to Tiger Talk. Welcome to the show. It's all good. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? Humbly, humbly, I'm Demarcus Filminati, better known, but I am Demarcus. Um, I've started filming probably seven years ago and just continue to go into it, diving deeper into it. Now I'm in sports videography, man. It's a crazy world, but I love it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So is this a new um, endeavor for you? Uh, how long have you been um, – how long has Film and Naughty Productions been, been active? You know? So actually, I will say seven years, but sports videography, it's only been three months. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So three months in the making. What we're going to try to do is, we, if, if you don't mind, give us a little bit. We're going to get to the, obviously, if you're on Tiger Talk, it's a Jackson State connection. So, you know, we already know we're going to get to that. But uh, we kind of wanted to, if you don't mind, shed a little light on the seven years prior to these last three months, kind of what Phil Minotti Productions looked like, some of the work, maybe some projects that we might even have been privy to taking a look at. We may not know that it was you. Then again, okay. we may do so. So let's see, started with, hmm, I don't want to say music videos. Um, and then after that, I went into uh, videography with the Sonic Boom. So I got a little background with the Sonic Boom and learning how to work uh, camera angles with bands and things like that. And after that, I moved to Atlanta for two years, stayed out there uh, being on some sets of movies, videos, uh, small projects and things like that. Uh, moved back in 2019 to Jackson. And once I did that, um, I continued to do music videos and promos, but I did my first workout video ever with Nug. That's my guy, man. Shout out to Nug and happy birthday to him as well. But uh, I did the first video with him uh, and made connections with the media team or the football team. And after that, okay. everything just continued to take <laughs> off. Well, man, first of all, let me just say congratulations. By the way, also, you know, happy birthday to Dijon Nugget Warren, you know, the big, big folk. You know, we, we, we think he's, uh, he's, he's primed for a big-time 2022 uh, oh, yeah. football season, so we definitely looking for him to do some big things, man. But, uh, hey, that's, that's pretty dope. So let's jump right into it, man. Three months ago, it looks like, you know, you're on this path, you're on this course, and then all of a sudden something happened, like you said, and boom, as you skyrocket, and now you're in a role that is new to you. But now you shooting and filming for the I Love, the very own Jackson State football tigers led by a very own 
Coach Prime, tell us about how you got connected to that, and let's 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 get into how you get plugged at Jackson State, man. Because I know many want to do this, but how did you get how did you get a chance to pull that off? Everything was like uh, puzzle pieces. I, I did the workout video. No, take it back. I did a music video, and I saw that Nug liked it, and I was like, "That's crazy." So I reached out to him. Hey, let's do a workout video. And he was with it. So we did the workout video. And that same day, I um, got in contact with one of the guys that works on the media team, the football team. Mm -hmm. So I did that and had to show them, uh, you know, the type of work I could put out and put that out. The video with uh, Nug, put that video out. And it was like, okay, so you got, you see you working with a little something. So came to practice. And I uh, did a couple of videos out there. And it, by the third video, I think I may have caught Coach's attention. And with that, he kind of like pulled me aside, kind of guided me as to how to shoot better angles with the football team, get action shots, and things like that. So I started to do that a little more and just started watching more college football teams, that, you know, put out mm -hmm. content and things like that. So, um. Man, that three months went by so fast, man. And I just, <laughs> just continued to see myself, um, you know, rubbing shoulders with the game changers, if that's what I want to call it. I did the uh, XFL, did the XFL deal. And that was major. So that whole day I'm processing that. But at the same time, I have more more things coming film-wise with sports. So a lot of the times I'm just – stuck in the moment but i'm staying focused even though i'm stuck in the moment i'm staying focused um and with though when once i did the xfl i really caught coach's attention he was like okay you're a hard-working guy so that um in terms led to me just continuing to stay around the team and doing more videos to where now i have a connection with the coach uh the media team and everyone else on the team like everyone just kind of gravitate to filming out so that's kind of how it all played out. Hey, man, that's awesome. I, I, I Like I said, again, congratulations. I mean, anytime you're doing anything, it doesn't matter if it's, uh, you know, like you said, sports videography, whether it's uh, photography, whether it's podcasting, whatever, um, you know, usually people take from it what you put into it. Like I said, it's a old saying, you get out what you put into it. And that's when true. you do good work, people notice, man. So, I mean, we definitely noticed uh, what you were doing and, uh, I know we had a, um, I think Lot was the last person that was um, that was doing videography for, for, for the team, and he's, he's, he's over. Yeah, he he got connected, I think, with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Shout out to Lot, uh, and, and congratulations to him and the big big work that he's doing. And uh, again, you know, once again, I feel like Jackson State is kind of on the forefront of um, for an this HBCU wave with Coach Prime mm -hmm. coming in, really making the football team visible. And like we said, we love the content, but the ones that, you know, I would say the videographers, man, are kind of like the offensive line. You know, the games are won and lost in the trenches, but they don't, the big nasties up front don't ever get no credit. They don't get no shine, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I love the guys in the yeah. trenches on the team, man. Well, that's how, that's kind of how you are, man. You know, you know, you, you're a big man with a camera. You know what I'm saying? That's a big role. So you, you're in the trenches. You're getting those money shots. You're getting that great uh, content. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, it, 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 like I said, it speaks to your work ethic, and, and that's pretty cool, you know. So speak to us a little bit um, about what a day, and a Phil Minotti day looks like. When you, you know, you're shooting for the team. It's active. Kind of walk us through what a day looks like uh, in your role now, football team. In right. Normally, everything starts around 7.15 for the media team. So once I get there, uh, we have a media team meeting letting us know, hey, you guys need to get this shot. You need to get this shot. We have this uh, project coming up. Just a lot of uh, different things that they have in our head for us to know uh, work-wise. And we have a full, full slate of work. So... We break down from the meeting um, and we go straight to the field, um, set everything up, whether it be tents, cameras, drones, and uh, we stay out there and record everything, literally everything from kickers, punters, long snappers, um, 
sometimes we even get footage of the DJs that come out and, you know, play music for the team. So that's right. that with practice. Um, and after practice is where the real nitty gritty work comes in, where you got to sit down, give all of your um, footage to Coach Campo. That's my guy. Shout out Coach Campo as well. Um, right. you give all your footage to him. And after that, you know, it's just straight nitty gritty work with the editing. But you also have to keep in mind the things, the shots that coach uh, always say, get those action shots, get those shots of a player got sweat dripping on his face and things like that. So you want to make sure you're putting those shots in, um, but along with shots that are motivational. So when I say motivational, you know, you can look at a clip and it's just like, yeah. I feel that energy from that clip. You have to always make sure you put those in. But work work days are very strenuous, if that's the word I'm looking for, because you have to balance. Um, how do I want to say it? You have to balance so many different projects, whether it be a clip of a lineman, you know, send that out to show that the trenches are doing good work. Or would there be a clip of the wide receivers? And that room is a big room for wide receivers. So that's a lot of clips that you have to clip together and uh, put out. And also you have to learn now to put audio, uh, work with your audio, work with different sound effects. Mm -hmm. And um, breaking down the day, you have to send out, send out your videos. Um, get your edits in, whether it be something you have to re-edit, um, something you have to take out, uh, logos and everything like that. So you have to be on point pretty much yeah. throughout the entire day uh, when it comes to filming because, like I said, you have things to where coach also wants to get recorded too, whether he has uh, NFL personnel out there or old teammates he played with and things like that. You have to get those clips back to him, pictures, oh, man. Shout out to the photographers on the media team. Those Absolutely. guys so fast. Right after practice, they're sending pictures right to them. So you have to make sure you stay on top of things like that. And video-wise, it's more of a broad scale because you have a lot of more clips uh, to work right. with rather than uh, photos. So you have to always sort through them. And, and it gets sometimes it gets a little overwhelming but not as much it's just overwhelming because of the amount of clips you shot throughout practice and you have to make sure you have the best ones that show what's really going on and especially with me just now getting into it i'm a perfectionist per se so i always want to make sure i have the best the best of the best clips to make sure everyone that's a tiger fan is really you know getting that energy from the team Right, right, right. Man, that's a lot. I, I tell you that that's a it's a it sounds like a sun up to sundown role, man. It, it, you know, you're always working and um, it's a it's a grind, man. And it's a, you can tell you have to be passionate about roles like this, man, because yes, you, you, you know, it's not one of those, um, you know, just, you know, just clock in and go home. You you know, you it's, it's a lifelong um, endeavor. You know, you put your, your your blood, sweat, tears into this thing, man. And and it shows because if you don't do good work, obviously we can see that, you know. And so um, kudos to you. And then, too, there's a there's always this um, there's an evolution aspect to it. There's a growth aspect to it. Um, the ability to be amongst 18. I know there are others that, you you know, you speak of the team. Um, there are some others that you work with that do kind of what you do. Um, and like I said, we were used to one person. And now uh, we're really just trying to get to know. Uh, those that are in the role now that are doing those where you mentioned uh, Coach Campo, I, I think some, some uh, Ash, Ash shot it, I think is another uh, one that uh, and you also have um, Let's Let Shook shoot it, uh, Let's Shook shoot it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those are some of the main players who are really like putting in a lot of the nitty gritty work. And on top of that, with this being my first time in sports videography, those guys. Uh -huh. They tell me, all right, stand here, stand here. Make sure you don't get run over here while you're recording this drill. So they keep me on my P's and Q's. So I really do appreciate those guys. Man. So so let me ask you this then. So since you're talking about you're three months in, so you haven't mm -hmm. even experienced the football game yet. At all. <laughs> At all, man. I mean, outside of just, we're talking about working the football game. So my question <laughs> to you, 
you know, will you will you be at the home games? Or, you know, will you be traveling with the team? Kind of okay. tell us, uh, kind of. Okay, okay, break us break that break that down a little bit for us. So you'll be basically with the team throughout the season and, and mm-hmm. doing the same thing you've been doing the past three months uh, throughout every single home game and, and away game. Yeah, so with that, uh, I will be traveling with the team, and I also do home games. Um, and I'm just learning uh, the vibe of how they do pregame, how they do the locker room, and everything like that. Yeah. So. Man, that's outstanding, man. I mean, you're working, but you also get a front row seat, you know, and, and, and there's a lot of people that wish to be. Everything's a yeah. new experience right now. Even this, this is my first time being on an interview, so you got to kind of <laughs> let me shake it off a little bit. Hey, no, no, it's all right. Hey, hey you know what? I, I got to be honest with you. I had my first time. It was nerve wracking, especially when you put your face on anything. You know, you don't know. We got a lot of weirdos out here that might take your face and somebody might, you know, it, it just, you never can tell. So that's why one of the things we try to do at Tiger Talk is we let the main thing be the main thing. You know, we we started this platform and you got, you got D. Corey C., you know, the brainchild of this. And there's a whole band of brothers, you know, myself, Zoe, Shaq, uh, Mike B. I mean, there's a whole gang of us that's that's behind this this uh, Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club brand. But here's the thing. It started from just a, a, a group of brothers that alums of Jackson State love to talk about Jackson State. Right. And from there, it just kind of evolved. You know, most of our shows were audio, and now we've done kind of morphed and found our way on YouTube, doing video. So it's not always you, you kind of get thrust in new roles. So that's ah, a little jittery. But every now and again, you know, the more you do it. Right now. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. The more you do it, see, I'm a, I'm a goofball, man. So I, I kind of use, whenever I, I get a little nervous, man, I use a little humor. Everybody know me as a, you know, I, a little goofy. I get a little long-winded, talk myself to it. Just hey, it's all a part of it, man. It's it's all a part of it. So, no, you, you, you're doing, actually, you're doing pretty well. I, I think uh, the, uh, just just a little bit of what you've addressed, what you've expressed to us, I think is just phenomenal because it just makes my mind kind of go wow. Here's a here's one thing I do have for you. I mean, I'm not sure if you're a real true X's and O's guy, but you know, I did want to get your take since you're there. And everybody, we've had two scrimmages. Mm-hmm. What's your perspective of how you think the team looks thus far? I know we've gotten a lot of uh, okay. I like that expression right there. I'm gonna let you talk. Set up. I love it. I love it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so you, just go ahead. to kind of give my view of it though I think we have the best wide receiver room in the country okay in the country I love those guys and I love seeing them run routes and on top of that the defense defense is like so outside of football they're like this okay that's, that's good enough that's one thing I love okay yeah, man, I think um, that's – see, the last season, the defense was the – you know, I would say the defense is probably the stars, you know what I mean? We had James Houston uh, be our 100 draft pick, you know, he uh, shined on that defense. And uh, now we're expecting Nug and, 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 and Aubrey Miller and, and so many of the others, not to get the name yeah. names. You leave somebody out, they might feel like you slighted them. <laughs> no, it's not. You just – hey, we just say the defense, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, – and that's another thing, you know, you've learned, you know, uh, when, when, when just kind of being in this space, you want to be, uh, you want to just try to stay in the middle, you know, and not try to go too detailed. Cause like I said, you don't want to leave anybody out and make it uh, uh, be one thing. So, uh, but like you said, the wide receiver room, we've heard that quite a bit. Um, I think one thing I think most are interested in is uh, the new and improved offensive line. You know, we got, uh, we got QB one. Shador Sanders coming back into his sophomore campaign. Oh, and Mr. Accurate, okay? He is oh, yeah. Mr. Accurate. <laughs> hey, man, he's also a uh, – they call him grown for a reason, man. I like <laughs> his uh, football acumen, his seriousness about the game. Definitely. And uh, from the footage – and this is what – like I said, I don't know Shador personally. So what you do is so important to people like us because you guys, you are the – you give us a window and, and to – the, the, the field and, and, and others that may have content that, that are, you know, disposable to the public. So, again, like I said, we appreciate the work that you do. And uh, that's why it's always good to have someone that's that's kind of inside and, and can give their perspective. Um, another question I have for you is, uh, you know, are there some of your uh, what are some of your favorite um, 
players, who are some of your favorite players, you know, probably to shoot? Are there, are there any uh, players that might stick out that you kind of gravitate towards while you're doing your work or do you just kind of mix it up? My dog, K-5, man. K-5, he got okay. that dog energy. <laughs> he got that dog energy. He got a little swag. Zay, too, Zay, Zay, Zay <laughs> is like, Zay is like that guy you could never, ever sleep on. Okay. Mm, all right, so that's defense now. Offense, like I said, Mr. Accurate, definitely Shador. Um, mm -hmm. so Rico Powers and Quay. Nice, nice. Those are two good, two two interesting names that, that you name. I, I'm, I'm a fan of Quay, and uh, I was excited to see Rico join the squad, man. And, man, this last scrimmage, you see number 11 catching and rolling, man. He's he getting in and out, man. So <laughs> He is a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, are that some uh, who has the great person? I would say who who would you say probably has the the best personality? You know, as far as uh, as far as re, uh, shooting, I know K five. Shout out to K five, by the way, man. He's, I call him Mister Drip. You know, he always he always dripped out, man, when he when he not playing football. So that's my little brother right there. But it's personality wise, um, hmm. The best personality right now, I may have to give it to some of my kickers and punters. So I just did, um, I think Jacob. Jacob is a pretty cool guy. Jacob, he's a, he's a long snapper. Yeah, Jacob's polite. He got, the nice, he, got, he got the polite last name, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob polite, man. Shout out. I think I think Jacob's from over out of Lubbock. Love it, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, man. That, so those, that's, that, that's another group of guys that you can't sleep on. The, the kickers and the punters are gonna do mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of good things this year. That's it. That's refreshing to hear. You know, uh shout out to coach uh Alan Ricard. He, mm -hmm. you know, we had a we had a tough um I would say we had a tough out last season. Yeah. Uh, with our with our kicking game and it's I'm loving what I'm getting from from camp what I've gotten from the scrimmages and and you just look at the coaches reaction I think that's been uh really well um really really well received from what they were doing so hey I'm excited man because that if we got some some uh, automatic surefire three points and extra points I mean and if you take if you take away that ability to to return because you got to kick it with the big leg that kicks it out of bounds and out of the back of the end zone every time that's advantage Jackson State, man. So uh, yeah. you can play the field. You can play the field uh, field position game. So um, I tell you what. Here's another. Here's a, here's one I got for you. What about who talks the most smack man, at practice? Because we get a little bit. Who who talks the most smack? Who be doing all the talking? About? Oh, man. <laughs> I think I'd have to give that to probably the entire defense and offense because, <laughs> <laughs> because you can't let the defense make a play. And the offense not doing anything. Oh, it's gonna be yapping across the field to each other. But I say the team as a whole because they they stick together <laughs> um, as far as offense and defense. So you'll see it especially like seven on seven, man. Mm -hmm. That's like, that like true gridiron right there. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, Coach Prime. He said he wanted a, a, a just a competitive practice every time. He wanted a a program centered around. Uh, competition mm -hmm. and, and you know we compete man we get the yapping a little bit you know uh, I, i'll take that same question and carry it a little further what about coaches you know who do you say have the um has that personality that you love filming from a coaching standpoint i think it's the linebackers coach he don't take nothing from nobody <laughs> he don't take nothing. i think that's Matthew. Who's hard? Hard. Coach hard. Hard. Right, coach hard that's coach hard coach hard yeah yeah no no it's okay Coach well, Matt is uh, yeah. coach of the DBs, man. I, I love Coach Hart, man. Great person. Hey, you have to excuse me because it's only been three months, so I'm still trying to learn everyone. No, no, like, no, 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 no. You, you're fine. You're fine. No, you're fine. It's just uh, Coach Hart. Yeah, he uh cool cat, man. Uh, <laughs> that, but uh, um, it's like it's like he's he he lives through his players. I will put it like that, and I respect you know, that. You know he has a really good group of guys, man. Really good core, uh, led by a senior in Aubrey Miller. Uh, got some really, really, really good young talent, man. You know, Barry oh, yeah. Hobson, uh, Jeremiah Brown. Mm -hmm. I mean, Niles Gaddy. You know, the list goes on and on. Uh, KJ Arrington. 
And there I go naming players. Your JDs, your NTA Davis. <laughs> God, we got we got Mr. Military, you know what I'm saying? Donald Turley. I mean, and the list goes on and on, man. Yeah, man uh, got shout out to Coach Hart, man. I like Coach Hart a lot. But if we're going to mention coaches, I got to ask you this one, bro. How was it like to film around Coach Prime? Man? How, how is Coach Prime? You know, what would you – how is that like? Every day is like, all right, just tell myself, just be normal, just be normal, just be normal. <laughs> but at the same time, he's like that uncle you never had, but you always had. He's like the coolest, coolest person to be around. But when it's time to get to business, everyone focused. So he's a, he's a very, like I said, down to earth guy. Um, he won't tell you anything wrong, but he's going to push you way more than you push yourself. Man, I, um, I could only imagine, you know, we had a chance to meet him when he first got hired and uh, mm -hmm. I had a chance, uh, like when we met, I had a chance to connect with him, um, uh, briefly speak with him, you know, at the Q&A. So uh, really, really laser focused guy from what I've been able to see. And uh, I can just only imagine what it's like to be able to work around uh, Coach Prime uh, day in and day out. And I think one other thing is that when you see someone like that, that has accomplish as much as he's accomplished and talk about work ethic, talk about discipline and being focused and, and the and mission that he's on. Someone like that and others would make you want to be on your A game. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like they're, they're that walking billboard of what success may, you know, can look like uh, for, for each and every one of us if we continue to, you know, apply the right amount of, uh, you know, ingredients to what we're, we're striving for. I think um, – the best way I could put it, and I didn't mean to cut you off, is once you're around you someone that is that, how do I want to put it, that uh, well off or has had that many accomplishments in their life, you don't want to you don't want to bring any subpar work, you know, to what they have going on. So that's a, that's the best way I could put it. Hey man, you said it better than what I could say because you're there, <laughs> you see it every day. So. I, I tell you, um, are there any like funny stories? Maybe you can share. You know, with being there, it's kind of um, something you might that might have happened that might have made you say, "Man, this this is wild." You know, I think it was my <laughs> first day. My first day, he broke. He pulled actually um, the media team. He always any anything that he feels he needs to say, he's going to pull that entity into a meeting room. So. He uh, pulled my video up, the first video I did. I put uh, Kirk Franklin, Brighter Day on there. And he was like, where's the Brighter Day? And I was like, the sun's beaming. He was like, I don't see, um, he said, I see people, you know, working hard, grinding hard and sweat dripping. It doesn't look like, you know, Brighter Day going on out there. So with it, it kind of gave me an insight to how he views um, hype videos versus anyone else. So the song selection is also a big thing. You have to match, you have to match that with the theme of practice. And that's what he was getting me to understand. So once right, I got right. I got that mini that mini, I'm sorry, that mini lecture from him, I just understood from there and just continued to try to pick songs or audios that kind of embrace the feel of, of practice from that day. Yeah, man, I, I, I'll say this, and I, as someone that actually uh, consumes your content, you know, I always follow your page and look for, um, you know, up, you know, uh, your latest that you put out. When I get that film or not, you go across the, uh, the uh, cool. <laughs> Hey, hey I, I, I rock with you, man. I rock with you. <laughs> I, uh, I get excited, man, and I'm locked in because that the music is, it is dope. You know what I mean? It is, uh, it, it, it pulls you in. You know what I mean? When it's a, when it's quick, quick cuts and you you showing off some speed and you got those action shots and the, the music there it's, it's it's all popping man so uh i'll say this one last thing before we get ready to close this this one out okay um i want to say congratulations to you because i saw you had a chance to you had just had a chance to work with mr jim Nagy yes, coming over sir. from the senior yes, bowl man that's yes, a big look man i was excited to see him because believe it or not I'm kind of my mouth get me in trouble a little bit sometimes, <laughs> and uh, when Coach Prime, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a little secret, and I, I'll let you uh, finish close us out. Okay. When Coach Prime, like beginning of last season, we got the you know we balling, and we, we it might have been mid season, and mm -hmm. he made a comment. He was like, 
you know, maybe in a little, you know, in a, in a, in a few years, Coach Prime have been to develop some players that's worthy of, mm-hmm. he might not say the word that, that that could be, to get considered for the recent senior right. bowl. Right. And I, I, you know, I, I went, I went at him, you know, I said something, I'm like, I, 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 you know, I ain't going to repeat what I did. <laughs> but when I saw him in Jackson, I immediately, you know, I, 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 re, I, sub, I retweeted and kind of mm-hmm. subtweeted at him and just said, man, thank you for coming to Jackson. Like, it, this is a big deal. And when I put that out there, this goes to the power of social media. You know, we, we were able to connect. You're able to put your content. We're able to put our content. Right. And right. He, he retweeted my words, and he actually responded to me. I was like, you know what? Thank you for what you've done. I really enjoyed that video. Uh, not just the JSU video, but to see you kind of put it out there. And then to go to the Reese's uh, Senior Bowl social media page to see your video put out there i thought that was a good look for you so that was exciting because i said man we, we we talked about bringing you on the show i wanted to give you flowers now and say man good work congratulations proud of you brother and uh i'll let you close it up by talking about that experience and anything you want to share with that and we'll be okay. ready to wrap it up for you so with that uh like i said there's always personnel that's coming uh to practice so with me being the main videographer um, and when they say they need extra angles or someone to do this, it's like all arrows, all arrows point to the kids. So I got to do that, you know, and that's, that's me humbly speaking. I always thank God for everything because, you know, he gave me this opportunity. So I actually was working with one of the with one of the senior bowls uh, cameraman. So okay. uh, we did an A and B, A and B camera deal. So where he was the A camera, I was B camera getting a lot of shots of Mr. Nagy talking. So that uh, came through. And on top of that, um, it just opens up more opportunity for people to know who Phil Minotti is. Uh, and like yeah. I said, I'm not I'm not one of the people that's in front of the camera all the time. Like you see right now, I'm still a little nervous a little bit with being in front of the camera. But um, it just opens up opportunity. And what I would say for anyone who may feel like that they could be in a position of, of how do I want to say it, in a position similar to what I'm in. You have to put the pieces of the puzzle together. It's not going to fall in your lap. Seven years, and I would have never, I would have never imagined I'd be working with Coach Prime. So right. that's some of the gems I could leave, but it's mainly just hard work. We don't think it's going to come overnight. Hey, man. I'm a, I, I can I can witness to that. I mean, when I when I met you, you had your camera in hand. I said, Always. I think that's him. I said, I think that's him. <laughs> I go up to you. I said, Phil Minotti. I said, what's your name, man? I said, I said I'm King. He said, oh, man, that's how we connect. <laughs> hey, 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 hey listen. Hey, man. I'm like just, <laughs> just a fan of Phil Minotti. I've always been a fan of Tiger Talk way before. Appreciate that, I brother. I thank you all for even giving me a chance to have a platform to speak on. So thank you. Hey, hey you know what, man? We got to see. This is the thing, man. We got to catch you while you while you still reachable, man. See, you, oh, about, yeah. to, you, yeah. about, to take, you about to take off, man. You on that, you <laughs> on that sky rocket. You on that, that rocket ship, man. And, 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 you know, after a while, man, you might have to change the number. You know, nah, nah, I'm teasing with you. Nah, but but man, no. Man, every day I just continue to tell myself, stay normal. I'm a humble guy. And I just I, I like I like everything to continue to remain how it is, just with a lot of more work. That's how I put it. There it is, man. Well, look, I, I'll say this in, in closing. Um, you know, kudos to you. You Thank know, you. keep going, continue to put that work. Um, it's definitely, I would say. Your work speaks for itself. And like I said, like I said, we, we were happy and excited to bring you on board. A little different. Like I said, we wanted to give the man behind the camera a little FaceTime. I love kind of coming. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? I'm pretty sure we'll cross paths throughout the season now that we know that you will be, um, you know, uh, with the team throughout the year. And listen, hey, as as the season progresses, hey, man, you, you, you you're more than welcome to Hit us up. Let us know anytime you want to come back on and you got some stuff you want to share. If you got some ideas you want to throw our way, feel free to do so. You know, contact myself, Corey, uh, or Zoe, or whomever. And, uh, 
man, it's, it's, it was a pleasure to sit down with you. Like I said, I'm rooting for you. Always rooting for the home team. Thank and you. Uh, before you get out of here, though, we always like to get our uh, for those that tune in. We like to get you some followers. Let make sure you let them know how to find you on social media so they can be able to follow you and uh, and digest your content as well. So on YouTube and Instagram, it'll be Filminati, Filminati Productions. Um, and on Twitter, I do go by my personal page, which is Marco the Jew. Being from Jackson, you have to keep that J-U on there. So Marco. Jack the Jew. Do. Yeah, 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 <laughs> third, yeah, third. But those yeah. are the uh, three main three main platforms that I do post all of my work. Um, so, yeah, you have Filminati Productions on Instagram and YouTube and Marco the Jew on Twitter. Or if you just type in Filminati on Twitter, I still pop up. That's a unique name. It is only one <laughs> Filminati. And we got Marco the Jew in the building. My brother, like I said, it was a pleasure to sit down with you. All the best to you. Like I said, I can't wait to connect with you. And, 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 and. Hey, we got the first game coming up in, in less than two weeks, man. We're going to be in Miami. We're going to go get some strengthening in Miami versus fam. You again, man, like I said, appreciate you for tapping in and coming on Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club. To all of our Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club subscribers, listeners, wherever you tuned in at or listening at, man, we appreciate you. And as always, the I love, go Tigers, baby. Go Tigers. Thank y'all, man. And that'll do it for episode 259 of Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club. Thank you to all of our listeners. And again, be sure to download and subscribe to the podcast. Apple Podcasts and Spotify video users, rate and review the show and everyone. Go follow Tiger Talk with the 1400 Club on Facebook and Tiger Talk 1400 on Instagram and Twitter. We're looking to do some big things with this platform to aid the athletics department. And it all starts with you downloading, subscribing, rating, and reviewing the show. And tell every Tiger that you know. We're on all podcast outlets. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Video, YouTube, and so on. And we'll be posting each episode on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. As always, thanks for your support. Go Tigers! Hashtag I Believe. Hashtag Pack the Vet. Hashtag The I Love.